Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Mystic Wolf, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, today I'm going to be doing an EP review of my good sis, my good friend, my good collaborator. Of course, I'm talking about Samaya with her Dirt EP entitled Remedial Education 2, which is actually, you know, goes back to uh, Remedial Education 1 that she dropped in 2020, um, around October 2nd of uh, 2020, which actually, uh, by the time this video comes up, uh, it's going to be dropping October 2nd. Uh, 2022 so i don't know if you know if you're watching this my if you actually kind of planned that out but that was really fucking cool now if you guys don't know a little bit about uh smile a little background uh she's a singer songwriter she goes by a youtube channel called gap visuals only and she has about 3k follow of subscribers as of this moment you know she kind of does a lot of commentary videos deep cut breakdowns of different you know r&b artists she does a lot of podcast episodes she runs her own podcast she does a lot of r&b uh, reactions and reviews and her structure when it comes to just like breaking down certain albums is really fantastic it's really well made and it's just quality content so if you guys want some recommendations on just albums or just R&B contemporary albums you know please go to her because like she's your woman she's definitely your woman and what's really stands out for me is because you know you see a lot of reaction channels and a lot of review channels on just mostly just hip-hop you know what i'm saying i mean there's, there's probably other genres of music that people cover but it's not really as like blown up as like hip-hop reactions so when i saw her doing her own R&B lane that was really really cool you know considering that you know a lot of people uh don't really touch hip uh, R&B like that and i don't understand why considering that R&B has been around forever it's really awesome Awesome to kind of see a uh, black content creator you know doing their thing on you know the youtube platform because god knows we need more black content creators you feel me she's been singing for years now dating back to 2013 she used to do like song covers and she does song covers every now and then but now she's been kind of focusing more on her solo work she you know has stuff like from jojo beyonce neo tori kelly ariana grande she used to cover songs from them back in the day you know, it used to be really quality stuff i think she was just really trying to find her footing as far as her vocals and just you know just coming into her uh, more as an artist as, as a singer songwriter so you know her, her rollout uh she kind of released dnd &D as the first single which i really enjoyed i thought it really set the mood as to what was going to come for the record and then we also got the story which kind of you know really detailed um a lot of the you know uh, problems that you know um that she's been facing with her partner dealing with the loyalty problems definitely putting her wearing her heart on her sleeves on this one and she was really on her bag when it came to that single so her style really ranges from like you know summer walker her kehlani chloe keisha cole you know a lot of contemporary artists but you know she kind of you know again focus on you know a little more of a uh, trap style r&b but still mixes on some traditional balladry as well too so she really tries to push her sound and try to make it into her own and you know there's still a little bit of of her influences that she kind of wears on her sleeve but i feel like now she's starting to really come into her own a more especially on this project so of course Ramiya education too of course it's a sequel so you know it's really a lot of pressure trying to like you know outdo your first project but i really think she handled things a lot better on this project you know just going with the narrative of each project how they flow in together uh did a little more just you know again uh as far as like content and even like on hooks and just you know vocal production there's a lot to even just you know go over when it comes to this project so remedial education 2 starts off with her close friend or just her close collaborator or her brother you know um it definitely was the same person from the first remedial education of which i had noticed and he kind of talks about his kids his wife growing uh, to become a better person and you know because you know now you're having a stage in your life having kids and you know wife you know you're gonna have to push yourself a lot harder and you know just trying to be more patient more understanding and keeping more of a strong stance in life the instrumentals were very luscious you know backing up the track a lot of nice harmonies uh some elegant strings buried into the mix as well too nice backdrop to really set the stage nicely uh again i already talked about the harmonies and you know just honestly just a you know a really great backdrop you know to again um this project and the subject matter you know her being very fed up about a person um that um that she's been putting a lot of time and energy towards and not really you know panning out to the best results as possible you know the partner not taking accountability for their actions so you know she's going to try to do the best that she can to leave that person and you know it already sets a better and very sour mood already but it's already packed with this very lush and very beautiful um and very you know elegant um instrumental so it's just kind of like what she's talking about it's like really like damn bro like you starting off like that's this but then at the same time it's kind of like oh wow look at the instrumental it's very pretty you know what i'm saying so it's already like she's already hitting us 
uh, with a lot uh, in the first like two to three minutes of these of this project, which is like okay, you know, definitely you know looking forward to seeing what how she kind of goes more into this narrative. And then we have uh, something better. Again, the, um, the instrumentation, they're kind of samey when it comes to this project. You know, the, you have kind of like the beautiful strings with the pillow and soft uh, soundscape. You know, nice backing beats really sets the tone again. You know, I have a little bop and a little groove as well too. I did love the um, the hook on this. Times of the S is an angel blessing. Like I love, love, love that hook. It's very catchy, has a nice bop to it. It has a nice little earworm to it. I really enjoy the instrumentals. Uh, I said instrumentals, the hook on this, um, on this song and the lyrics you know asking god for blessings peace and healing as she's trying to give over the pain and hurt um get over the pain and hurt from her relationship um hoping that something better is around the corner and that she's going to keep on uh having faith and you know keep on reflecting and on on and even just having a little bit of reflection on the wreckage that that relationship has caused her feels like she's kind of weighing out her options trying to find something that's better around the corner because just with the person that she's with is just not going anywhere fast <laughs> so um yeah the, the um so i really enjoyed that song as well the story kind of reminds me a little bit of summer walker uh playing games of just like how um the strings and the keys are set up um when I forgot uh, something better, uh, when she kind of goes onto her, you, I don't know why it kind of reminds me of The Weeknd a little bit. Um, I don't remember that song from I, uh, My Dear Melancholy, but she kind of has like that similar kind of um, vocal passage that you, I was like, oh shit, hold on, you've been listening to The Weeknd, man. I'm like, I don't know what's been going on there, but I really enjoyed uh, that little part as well, too. There's little moments on this song and just with the, the rest of the project that are really nice and, and really, you know, beautiful to, to really listen to and to really, um, to really appreciate. But back to the story, um, again, the the, the, the the strings are very uh, soft and plush and she, brought, she provides a lot. Um, space to let the drums and the bass really you know do a lot uh and it really pushes to its maximum power here the not the background vocals and the ad-libs are really sweet and really nice to the ear the um the lyrics kind of again you know going more into that reflection the meat and potatoes of the issues questioning the loyalty of your partner uh regressing to a version that you not regressing to a, a version that she was before and um you know, she's really dumping all the laundry that's been weighing on her shoulders. So this is more of a, a deep cut. And, you know, I really, again, really think that her singing is really out in full force here. Um, she really, you know, pushes herself a little bit here. And, you know, just talking about like, yo, don't make me the bad guy. You know, someone uh, putting up your pride and shit like that. Like, I really enjoyed this song a lot. All right, so Lonely Rose kind of, you know, takes us back. You know, it's really sad. The, 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 the production on here is really melancholy, very gloomy um having to fight a battle all on your own and you know asking god for forgiveness for kindness for guidance for protection and understanding as she kind of goes through her journey alone and finding her spirit again and you know it, it's, it sounds very unsure just like from the few of the future like what's to come you know i really love that lonely roads kind of illustrates that um portion of you know the, of the healing process of when you don't really have a lot of friends you don't have a lot of people to call on and you know how lonely it can be and how you know just kind of like how lost it can be in the process of just knowing that you'll probably you might not even get better anytime soon if your ex or somebody in your life is just really pissing you off or just really is just getting on your damn nerves and you just need to push them off or you just need to send them aside this song is definitely for that as well D, &D again a lot of reverb on her voice here you know making the song uh very floaty and atmospheric um, the lyrics, you know, um, kind of detail, not picking up the phone anymore, not accepting any um, distractions to come her way as she's trying to like get to a path of self of, of self and betterment, you know, um, again, choosing to, you know, choose herself, um, then, you know, just kind of sticking with somebody that's not really doing much for her. And, you know, just kind of showing herself away from reality and getting back to um, a road and a route where she can feel whole again. Vocal production, you know, she is really spot on. And again, the vocals really do shine in here as well, too. That's also another one of my favorite pro uh, songs off this project. You know, it just comes, again, very authentic. They're just like, you know what? I ain't picking up the phone no more. Oh, I like, I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? You could definitely, again, hear a little bit of her influences, you know, woven into these tracks. But, you know, again, she kind of, again, puts, you know, makes it into her own. And then the last few tracks what we got is Learner's Interlude, where she kind of has uh, two friends of hers. The, I'm the friend, you know, the, 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 the first guy that, you know, you hear talking on the song. Um, that's me. That's actually me on the song. 
Yes, that is my this is my first debut feature. Your boy on project. Yes. Uh, because uh, when Samaya was actually um, hitting me up, she was actually asking a question like, you know, she was asking me about um, my self growth, how much have I grown as a person? So I kind of sent her a voice message on Instagram and she kind of used it on the song. So, you know, I kind of just talked about, you know, how much I've grown as a person, my confidence and how I've realized my words and how I am just more accepting of my skin. You know, I'm not really taking shit from anybody anymore and just kind of like you know being you know trying to build a future for myself and for my kids and just you know for the people around me so that way i can be proud of the life that i leave on for my kids and the people who, uh, who are before me and who are after me um you know what i'm saying uh, when i leave this earth so i thought it was you know a really a uh, touching moment, you know what I'm saying? And even a friend of hers, um, Belle, also kind of um, uh, details uh, what she what uh, has helped her in the past. You know, she talks about journaling and just writing things down and not taking things personal and not being, you know, very reactionary to things and what things, um, what she's done to kind of um, get her uh, footing uh, right with life. And again, I really did enjoy it. Uh, I really love the, uh, the, the pianos here as well too. They were really, you know, very, um, they're very pretty to uh, to listen to as, you know, me and uh, Belle were, um, you know, talking about our growth uh, within the songs. You know, I really enjoyed that. And of course, better than ever, you know, it kind of carries over kind of the production and, you know, the instrumental that we heard on Learner's Energy Lude. Better than ever is the finisher, recapping all of the experiences and things that we've been hearing from the project so far. And, you know, she's, now she's sounding a little more confident, you know what I'm saying? Taking control of her world, of her own actions, her emotions and her future, looking ahead more and, you know, just feeling free and, you know, and all the negativity and sorrow and just know that there is more to come, you know, the, this is not the complete end, but just know that I'm feeling a lot better than I was uh, at the start of this uh, project where I was feeling really unsure and just very irritated as to why this person is doing me so wrong. And it's just a really nice way to close off this project. And again, I just, you know, it, it's, it's an amazing project. Now to just kind of go off a little bit of the Lucy because I've been reading off a script. I know you heard that. Um, <laughs> a couple of, uh, not even concerns, but a couple critiques. I will say the vocals are a little bit loud when it comes to this project. Um, there are a couple of, of songs here where her vocals are turned up a little more higher than the actual instrumental. So it's a little bit jarring to hear. Um, I wish things were a little bit more balanced. Um, you can't really tell with speakers, but when you're trying to listen to this with headphones and earbuds, it's really, really prevalent. So I would wish, you know, maybe in the future to try to, you know, balance your vocals and the instrumental a little bit more. So that way, you know, everything can sound uh, as cohesive and as, um, um, another thing as well too, the instrumental sounded a little bit samey, especially around the middle point. Uh, there was a lot of strings, a lot of pianos, you know, loose the oak here and there. And I love that there was a little bit more upbeat tempo songs, and then there was a little bit more soft ballad songs as well too, to kind of you know smooth you in. You know, there a little bit, a little bit of mid pace songs that you can a little bit groove to. And I'm not saying this project has those songs. I'm just saying the instrumental, the soundscape uh, sounds a little bit um, samey. As far as her vocals is concerned, I just wish that. Uh, the vocals here are fine they're really good they're very service serviceable but i wish next time that she kind of plays a little bit more with her vocals kind of like you know um experiment a little, a little more on her vocals because she kind of stays in this pocket throughout the rest of these uh rest of the uh, the project and you know it kind of sounds again a little bit samey like i said about the production so i wish you know about her vocals i think maybe she can kind of dip and dabble a little bit more with her vocals to kind of experiment to see what kind of highs and lows she can kind of comes uh, she can kind of uh, come down to to kind of give the song a little bit more dynamics and it doesn't sound you know completely one note throughout the rest of the track listing but besides that uh i really love this project this is a lot stronger than remedial education um one uh it has really great vocals um the instrumentals are a lot more uh palatable as well too they're a little a, 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 a lot stronger than the first one um she really wanted to focus a little i i could tell that you really wanted to focus more on narrative and just how the flow the songs flows into one another with this project so i'm really really proud of you for just again stepping into your own and i feel like with this project i really wish that people you know really start to come you know start to you know find who you are because i really feel like after um those two projects you know i really feel like this is this is your project i feel like this is the project where people are going to know about who samaya really is and i feel like as you continue to keep growing as an artist 
and you know taking into consideration and critiques about certain things i think you're going to just you know continue to keep blossoming well besides those critiques you know i really enjoyed this project and i'm not saying that because i am on the album i'm not on, i'm not saying that because i'm on the ep but i thoroughly enjoyed it from front to back it was very entertaining and it's something for everybody so if you guys you know ever feel like that you're in a place in your life where you feel a little bit confused you feel like something's not going right in your favor then definitely go to this project i think this is a very nice refresher from things that you normally hear from r&b and you know again i, I think you know she kind of puts her own little spin on it this video took me 12 takes to do because i haven't been on front of a camera in a minute and my brain is always on the fritz every single damn day so it took a little bit longer to record and to even write stuff for this uh um for this video but i really hope that you appreciate this review and if you guys again want to check out the review i mean if you guys want to check out the ep and her channel i'll leave all the links into the description box below so you guys can go listen to it but until then guys thank you guys so much for listening and for watching this video if you guys want more uh music stuff let me nice know in the comment section below you know what i'm saying and uh yeah that's all it for me again go stream remedial education 2 is out right now all streaming services thank you samaya again for letting me be on this project i really, really freaking appreciate you and um yeah guys more on the way more videos on the way more just everything on the way but for now your boy is on grind mode so i'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking a lot of content posting but again watch out for early, uh, later this year you know we're going to do our annual thing but thank you guys again i love you guys peace and stay safe during this time bye